Today, I'm gonna walk barefoot across six meters of burning coals. You can do this, Tom. Let's do it. You can do it. That is, if I don't chicken out. Luckily, I've got time to psych myself up. Building the fiery runway is not easy. Paper. Who taught you how to make this, David? A uh, guy called Michael McDermott. He, uh, at one time, we held the world record for the hottest firework ever. He actually walked on coals at 1,800 degrees Fahrenheit. What are we going to be doing today? I'm guessing about 1,000, 1,200, maybe 1,400 degrees Fahrenheit. <sighs> oh. Woo! Woo! All right, that's great. Hold on. First layer. Yeah. What no. do you mean first layer? No, no, we're going to build it this high. David, that high? Yep. Yeah. We're gonna need some help. You build high so there's plenty of coals to walk on and the layers are critically important. They keep the entire runway consistently hot. Any hot spots could be very disastrous for me. Okay, so looks like we're ready. Yep, that was the last step. All we gotta do now, put the kerosene on and light it. You got okay. the torch? You I've ready? I got it, I'm ready. All right, now, let me get this poured on. This is where the last couple of hours work come to fruition. So that's just pure kerosene? Yep. This is unpurified lamp oil. We used to use lamp oil until we found this was just as good. Never, ever use gasoline for this if you do it at home. That would be <laughs> Let's a, just say never, oh, ever that would, do this at home. That would be a really bad mistake. Kerosene burns nice and slow. It's the liquid that burns. With gas, it's the vapors that burn, and they burn violently. If this wall was drenched with the same amount of gas, we would have a 50-foot fireball. Okay, this baby's gonna be red hot. All righty. You good? Burn! Burn! Woo! This is gonna be some firewalk! Five hours later, Willie promised me a red carpet experience when I came to Johnstown, Pennsylvania, but this wasn't exactly what I was expecting. I thought maybe gowns, maybe paparazzi. No, no, nothing that highfalutin. No, Red okay. hot coals. Red hot coals. Well, I have certainly never done anything like this before, so you are going to have to lead the way. No problem. Let's get the shoes and socks off here. You don't want the bottom of your pants burning. We ready to do this? Uh, you certainly are. Okay, you come across here. Now, I'm gonna walk fairly briskly, flat-footed. The idea is to walk on the coals, not in the coals. And what I'm gonna be relying on is the fact that those coals are pretty non-conductive. No, so if no. we just walk along here. Oh, how much did that hurt? Thank you. Actually, that was absolutely fine. You ran across those coals. Oh, well, you think I ran across those coals? Okay, yeah. Well, I tell you what, I'll just walk back at a fairly normal pace across those okay, coals, okay? So okay, tell me what is happening here? How come you're able to do this? Well, heat gets transferred in three ways. Conduction, convection, radiation. Radiation's the way you feel the heat now, when you feel heat from the sun. Convection is transport of heat by a fluid. The one we're interested in, conduction. And both the flesh of my feet and those coals are really, really bad conductors. Think of feed and the coals like the pink fluffy stuff that lines the walls of your house and keeps you warm in the winter. They're insulators, the exact opposite of conductors. Now, if my feet were made of metal, we would have a very big problem. So this is pure physics and not mind over matter. Because usually oh, absolutely. I see people doing these firewalks and they have to concentrate and I don't have to think about it. No, no, anything. no, no. If, if it was mind over matter, I would burn. See, my brain is saying this is really not a good idea. You know, they say you get burned once. You don't want to do fine. it again. You'll be fine. Okay, can I? Nice and flat footed. Okay. Right across to can the Can I end. just sort of touch and see if that sort yes, of? Yes, if you want. Okay. You ready? Okay, let's do this. Let's do it. Let's walk this red carpet. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> Holy smokes, I did it! I've never walked a red carpet 
like this before in my life, and I survived. This is fantastic. And you know what? I couldn't even feel it. Didn't feel like, honestly, it didn't feel like a thousand degrees. Oh, well done, Zaya. Thank you <laughs> so very much. You certainly pulled out all the stops, and uh, wow, this was a really hot experience. Cool.